Hi guys, welcome to Saki's Kitchen. Today I'll take you through on how I made this very easy yet delicious curry. Now I made this the other day on Instagram and I got lots of people asking me for the recipe. We also enjoyed it and we're having it again. To make this delicious curry today, I'll be using some diced chicken breast, although it's optional, some cherry chopped tomatoes. In there, I've got some sweet paprika powder, hot curry powder, black pepper, chili, chopped onions, chickpeas, extra virgin olive oil, garlic and ginger, seasoning cubes, coconut milk, and butternut scrunch so let's get cooking the first thing i'm going to do is cut the butternut squash into two halves now i won't be using the whole butternut squash because i've got chicken going on and if you're going the vegan way it's best to just use the whole butternut squash that's totally fine and if you're in nigeria you want to get butternut squash i think you should check one of the renowned shops or vegetable shops they should have them. So all I'm going to do is slice them and peel off the skin, wash them and cut them into small sizes just so they cook faster. There you go. I've just cut them into cubes. I know my cubes are not looking too cute, but basically cut them into small sizes. To make the curry, you add vegetable oil into a pan. I'm using olive oil. You can use any vegetable oil of your choice. If you can remember the previous curry I made on Instagram, I didn't use chicken, although I grilled the chicken and added it as a side because in this house, we love chicken, especially my husband. Now this should be a very nice, lovely, delicious vegan meal, especially if you're vegetarian. All you need to do is keep the chicken and just follow the rest of the recipe or use the rest of the recipe. After adding the rest of the chicken, I'm going to turn down my cooker to the very lowest heat, allowing it to cook nicely and fry nicely, soak up all the nutrients from the garlics, ginger and onion. You want to keep stirring just so it doesn't get burnt and when it loses the pink color, we'll add the rest of the ingredients. And if you're here for the very first time, hello, thank you for joining me. All you need to do is tap on that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. All you need to do is tap on the bell just so you don't miss out on any recipes because I've got lots of recipes, yummy recipes coming your way. You don't want to miss them. And if you've been here for a long time, hello thank you thank you thank you for supporting me stick around and let's get cooking at this point i'm just going to carry on and add my seasoning cubes which i've already crushed
don't forget we're cooking on very low heat it allows it to cook the butternut squash and chickpeas nicely soaking up the flavors from the coconut milk as well and i forgot to mention i'm using ready to use um chickpeas because it saves time <laughs> And if you're like me, you like your curry a little bit spicy and I'm just going to add some more chili. That's what curries are meant for. They're meant to have that special heat. Anyways, just add according to how you can tolerate spicy food. At this point, I'm going to check if the butternut squash is tender and properly cooked which i think it is already so i'll let it steam out for five minutes while i continue stirring until i have my desired consistency as you can see it's looking so rich and creamy already yeah look at that i'd love for you to try this recipe it's not every time we get to use stew or have jello fries sometimes just make curry you go our curry is ready and trust me this doesn't take too long to cook all you need to do is follow the steps and the recipe and you have the same great taste like i did and if you're vegetarian like i said just throw the chicken away and go with the flow you still have the same great taste yes please let me know what you think in the comment section if you're going to try it or if you've tried it already i'd really love to know and I'm going to show you where I made the same curry without the chicken breast, although I had the chicken by the side, but it's still the same recipe and the taste is still the same. For today, I've just garnished with some parsley leaves and it's so good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Please share this video with your friends. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, Thank you for watching. Like I said before, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.